T minus 15 and counting. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And ignition. Lift off. Lift off of Kevin Ford, Evgeny Tarokin, and Oleg Novitsky as they head on a two day trip to the International Space Station. Seconds. 30 seconds into the flight. Good first stage performance. The Soyuz delivering 102 tons of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. The first stage of the Soyuz measures 68 feet in length and 24 feet in diameter. It is burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of the flight. Fifty seconds. Pressure is nominal. Everything's okay on board. Pitch. Your rotation nominal. One minute, ten seconds into the flight. Velocity is 1,100 miles per hour already. Remember, still good. Eighty seconds, all parameters are nominal. Everything's fine on board. One minute, thirty seconds into the flight. Everything looking green. The crew is reporting that everything is fine. Seconds, thrusters are nominal. We heard alarm. Inominal. Inaudible. But everything is okay on board. One minute, 54 seconds into the flight, the escape tower has been jettisoned. 120 seconds. The four strap-on boosters have now been jettisoned. These have completed their job and have dropped away at an altitude of 28 statute miles. The Soyuz is now traveling about 3,350 miles per hour. Jettison confirmed. There's a view inside the hippopotamus there up above the crew. That is Evgeny Terelkin there on the far right-hand side. Oleg Novitsky, who is the commander there at the bottom left-hand side, NASA astronaut Kevin Ford. No parameters are nominal. Remember, still good. Three minutes, three seconds into the flight. The spacecraft now traveling at a speed of 4,700 miles per hour. I to press... Uh the right and the left buttons. Inaudible. What did you say? What do, we do? what do we need to do? Please come again. Hello. And our first view from uh, cameras on the International Space Station of the Soyuz as uh, it continues uh, what so far has been a flawless approach for docking to the Poisk module. The two spacecraft uh, traveling 254 statute miles uh, just off the northeast coast of South America, moving from southwest to northeast in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator. The 340 minus 0.7. Lower of the the angular size uh, is nominal. The Soyuz are continuing an automated approach through the CORE's automated rendezvous system. It is honing in uh, on uh, the beginning of the fly-around, uh, which will get underway just momentarily. In the uh, Zvezda service module at the control panel, in the unlikely event something would happen with the CORE system, Yuri Malenchenko is standing by uh, to operate the TORU, or telerobotically operated rendezvous unit. Uh, to manually fly the Soyuz in, but uh, so far so good. Everything uh, functioning perfectly with the 06M spacecraft under the command of Oleg Novitsky in the center seat of the descent module. And of course this view uh, from station cameras of the Soyuz spacecraft as uh, its uh, pre-programmed 
approach begins uh, to put the brakes on, if you will, uh, for the start of uh, station keeping. Not quite there yet, just a few meters to go. The Soyuz uh, solar arrays uh, precisely aligned uh, for final approach and the eventual contact and capture with the Poisk module. And can you see the station through the vast sky? Is everything fine? Everything is fine. And the visiting vehicle officer at Mission Control in Houston reports uh, the beginning of station keeping at a distance of about 197 meters. The Soyuz uh, will remain still now uh, to enable Russian flight controllers here at the Russian Mission Control Center in Karyov an opportunity uh, to assess the alignment of the forward docking probe with the Poisk docking port that you see just above the crosshairs on this engineering view from the Soyuz external camera. At the bottom of your screen, uh, you're looking at the Zarya module, the first component, the first element of the International Space Station that was launched on November 20th, 1998, atop a proton rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Its solar arrays folded like an accordion, uh, never to be used again. The uh, Zarya drawing power not only from the Russian segment through the solar arrays on the Zvezda service module, but also from the U.S. segment of the International Space Station. We can see the docking assembly clearly. Copy. Kazbeki, we can see you. Everything is fine. Good trajectory. We can see you on the station camera. Copy. Yuri Malenchenko in the uh, Zvezda service module offering a quick greeting to uh, Novitsky, uh, indicating that uh, everything looks normal from their perspective inside the International Space Station. The two craft currently flying over Algeria. 100 and 0.6 range, range rate. Copy. Two and a half squares is the angular size of the service module. We can see the target clearly. Copy. Range is approximately 35. The target is aligned and the cross. Copy. The target is at the center, the crosshairs are aligned. Copy. Proceed. The, the target is at the center, we are. Expect uh, we have Docking confirmed, contact and capture confirmed at 7.29 a.m. Central Time, 4.29 p.m. Moscow Time over the southern Ukraine. Three new residents have arrived at the International Space Station. 